First up is putting on a white mask foundation. I'm using a clown white grease paint and a foundation brush and I'm going to pat it on to my skin directly. I want the mask to have a fading effect so I'm blending it into my skin. Next step is the powdering. I'm using a Mayron color set powder. You can also use a talc powder. I'm using a cosmetic sponge and just pressing and rolling and putting as much powder as I can. I'm using a blue eyeliner pencil and just sketching out the shape I want. Using an angled brush, I am putting in the first purple color and just really following that line. And as I go along, I'm going to work in the shape and blend at the same time. I'm going in with the second color now, blue, and maintaining the same shape. I'm just going in on top of it, adding an extra layer and blending in as I go along. I'm taking the purple color now, I'm going to make a shape with it, starting at the top of my cheekbone, going across to the center of my eye, and then meeting back down to finish a triangle at the bottom of my cheekbone. You really have to focus on blending and rounding out this triangle as you go along. Just adding a second color to this, the same blue we used before, following that line and starting at the back end of it and blending it through to the purple. Using a navy eyeshadow, I'm going to go over the outline I have on my crease. With the black liquid eyeliner, I'm going to line my eyes, both on the top and bottom, really focusing on making the inside of the eye thicker than the outside. I'm also going to take a black eyeliner pencil and go in and line my waterline. I'm going in with a white mascara. This will add a nice contrast to your thick black liner. I'm using the same clown white I used on my face and with a brush going in and filling in my lips. Now I'm going to powder them with the same powder I used before. Anytime you use a cream, you want to make sure you set it with a powder. Using the same pencil I used to make my outline, I'm going to now line my lips.
using the same blue eyeshadow and the same brush, I'm going to go in and go over that liner and shade in my lips to give it a nice gradient contrast. And here is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to subscribe to receive new tutorials every Friday up to Halloween. Make sure to thumbs up and subscribe.